Alright, so this is how you would create an account sa Pancake POS o yung point of sales. Uh, this is actually the same halos sa pag-connect sa Pancake. I just have to log in with your Facebook account. So, the POS will handle lahat ng inventory, products, lahat ng orders. Basically, yung tatlo na yan. Inventory, uh, which is kasama yung warehouse, um, the products itself, and the process ng order, anything na pag-approve or delete, anything about the order. So, ito yung magsisynchronize kapag galing sa pancake, papunta ngayon sa POS. So, ang gagawin natin is just log in with your Facebook account. Ang gagawin lang nito is i-coconnect lang yung personal account mo. Uh, make sure lang na yung Pancake is version 2, hindi naliligaw para secured tayo. Okay? So, ang gagawin lang natin is i-continue lang natin yan as um, yung ano natin, yung account. And then, you just have to either select all or piliin mo lang yung page na i-allow mo. Okay? So, next. And then, lagay mo lang yung... Um, yeah, allowed mo for um, any, you know, integrations, um, manage. So, so, just, ito, this is your decision. But uh, for this example, you just allow everything. And then, make sure, mamaya, no, i-check lang natin yung ating uh, uh, setup ng pag-allow ng mga settings. Always yan dito sa business integration settings. But we have to skip that right now. So, habang nag-create siya, habang nag-connect siya ngayon, ang gagawin niya is kukunin niya lahat ng pages and then uh, si-synchronize niya yan for you to just enter. Ano ba yung page na pwede mong i-connect para ma-process, no? magkaroon ng uh, POS na page. So, for example, ito yung uh, ating generate na page na test and then later on, gagamitin natin siya dito sa working na page. Let's enter this. So you can actually, you know, <laughs> i-favorite uh, mo siya para lagi siya nandito. Okay? So, pag favorite, uh, meron siyang star. We are here sa overview mismo. So, sa overview, um, actually, ito yung number of sales. Uh, pwede mo siyang i-select sa range. Kukompare mo sa ibang range. Basically, uh, yun lang naman yung laban nito. So, yung profit, revenue, but we will not go here muna. Just in introduction, kung ano ba yung nakikita natin sa first na pag-login. So, dito lahat ng details, lahat ng order, lahat ng products na pwede natin makita. So, it, basically, this is an overview. Lahat talaga. So, pwede mo siyang i-customize, pwede mo siyang i-filter, depende yan sa uh, magiging setup mo. But for now, we will just have to introduce you yung mga important lang ditong parts. So, itong button na to, meron dito parang line, no? So, i-expand mo siya kasi ito, kapag hinover mo yung mga mouse dyan, ay yung mouse, uh, lalabas lang siya. May pop-up. But if you want na word siya, so, kitang kita mo kagad yung settings niya. Make sure, ang una mong setup dito is yung change the language. Maybe naka um, Vietnam pa siya or anything. Just make sure na naka English para uh, no, uh, maintindihan natin. So, it will, yan ito lagi pag mayroong update. So, success, language, uh, change language successfully. Now, uh, para hindi ka malito dito, you just have to, you know, click the arrow up and down. Para i-close or i-open. So, pwede kasing maligaw ka. Sakali. So, just up it. Right. So, ito yung sale. Yung sale is, uh, ano, um, automatic gagawa ka ng order. Kung yari, may bumenta, click mo agad yung sale para i-enter yung details like this one. So, pag-click natin, just enter all the details. Mamaya, uh, I will show you pa paano yan nag-work. So, ito yung order um, buttons is lahat ng orders na dumarating. Ito yung galing kay Pancake or you can create na galing din dito. Okay, yung bot kasi sa bot cake, pwede rin mag-create papunta dito. But, basically, lahat ito nandito. Okay? So, sa products naman, ito yung isa sa mga kailangan natin uh, sa product management. Dito tayo maglalagay ng mga products. So for example, meron akong ginawang dalawang products and makikita niyo yung mga uh, details like total remaining, yung magkano yung presyo, um, ilan yung na-cancel, uh, ilan yung uh, pwedeng ibenta, uh, waiting for shipping, and other things. And then sa inventory, nandito rin yan. Okay? You can see all the inventory there. 
And then, ang mahalaga sa products is also yung uh, promotion. So, pwede ka mag-create dito ng any discounts, promotion, uh, na automatic mag-add uh, siya dun sa order. You can just, you know, on and off. Okay? And then, ito naman is a customer. So, di natin machi-check lahat ng details about the customer. Pwede natin edit yung name. Uh, pwede natin makita yung mga phone number. Ilan na yung purchase. Ilan na yung uh, na... na order, then yun na spent niya. Okay? So, dito lahat in information, lahat ng in-order niya. Makiita na din natin dito and you can expand kung ano ba yung in-order niya and other things like yung notes kung mayroong notes dyan or yung uh, mga address niya, makiita natin dito and we can also modify them here. And then, so yun lang yung important dyan. Later on, uh, we will just uh, uh, talk about yung mas detail dyan sa mga yan. So, ano pa mga important? Ang important dito is yung settings. Okay? So, um, uh, I will uh, discuss this on a separate lesson. But, basically, ito yung settings na pwede nating uh, i-change. No? Kailangan i-change. The general, ito yung important. Nandito lahat ng mga kailangan i-change. Um, and the warehouse. So, ito ang kailangan nating uh, siguraduhin na i-change. Kasi kailangan siya kapag naglalagay tayo ng product sa bawat order. And also, kung uh, applicable ang mga printing, no, meron dito mga printing, ito yung mismong ipiprint mo automatic kasi pwede to. Kung gagamit ka ng POS for the long term, you can print this, no, like papunta. Like katulad ng kay Lazada, Shopee, meron din silang ganito. If you can see it, no, meron silang format na ganito. You just have to uh, edit yung mga details na yan which uh, nasa isang lesson yan. Okay? So, the warranty policy, uh, we can create the warranty policy here para habang, nakik uh, habang may nag-order, pwede ating lagyan na ano ba yung warranty na uh, naka-involved doon. So, yung user is informed na ito yung uh, warranty. Next is the notification. So, ito yung mga kailangan natin edit Make sure na uh, uh, yung team is properly notified sa lahat ng uh, no notification na pwede ma-notify yung isang user. And just a quick note, ito isa sa mga halaga for the quick notes na parang template to na quick notes. And also, the automatic automated order, it depends no, kung uh, automatic order, pero I, I suggest na if you're just testing out, wag mo muna ito i-enable para sa gayon eh, uh, hindi ka malilito. So, just make sure na uh, magamay mo na yung order, yung mga process, before you do the automated order sa mga ito. Okay? So, if you want to check your account, nandito lang din yan. So, ito, wala akong password kasi um, correct ito sa FB. Pero, advisable na mayroong password for sec another security no? na uh, for your account. So, make sure tama yung time zone, tama yung language, and yun lang naman. So, we go back, and that's about it. Uh, meron dito mga ano na I think ito yung mga change yan yung mga activities na binago makikita mo kung sino yung user yung uh, nag-change so kung sakali may nabagong settings you can just you know click that and then makikita mo yung mga uh, processes nila right so that's about it this is the main uh, settings na kailangan natin at yung mga parts ng uh, Pancake EOS